This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate all my Aries that's out here for my cross watches. This energy can be resonated, so just be a little aware that as you're tuning in, somebody could be dealing with a Gemini, maybe a Leo. We got sharing tales of love and romance and reaching outwards. We got some Aries energy here. Somebody could be 30. Got a little bit of Taurus energy. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus, maybe a Pisces. Got some Taurus and Pisces energy here. So for some of my Aries, it's, um, you're dealing with somebody who loves attention, loves the spotlight. I don't know if this is you. This could be a person that you were dealing with. This could be a Libra for some of you. A lot of my Aries are trying to rebrand themselves right now. We got creating a new image. We got the hate, nurture, but love. Somebody could be 35. We got some Taurus energy. So it looks like someone portrays to like love you i don't know if this is a friend family member or this could even be the person that you're dealing with maybe that was a situation in your last relationship that could be why you walked away and decided to be single because you realized that someone loved wasn't genuine they were actually stabbing you in the back as you see this could be a libra for some of you somebody can have history with a libra we got protecting your feelings somebody can have 15 year olds so i'm getting that's really important for aries right now we got some capricorn energy somebody could be 21 maybe 26 some of you had a dream about somebody recently. There was a message in that dream. Some of you are now wanting to reach out to someone because you had that dream and maybe you should. We got the angel of stress. Somebody could have a three-year-old. So for those of our Aries is that are stressing mentally or stressing about work, finances, anything right now, I am seeing things turn around for you. We have a lot of Libra energy showing us. So somebody's definitely dealing with a Libra. We got the angel of harmony. Somebody could be 24. Definitely Libra energy. You could be making amends with a Libra or having a reconciliation. Some of you could be stressed over a Libra. We do got the career angel. Somebody can have an 18-year-old. So for a lot of my Aries, this is a new career coming into play for you. This is a new job. This is something that you've been wanting for a very long time. You could be getting this through a friend. Maybe you're networking and uh, maybe a friend helped you get this job. Some of you could just be making a new friendship in general. Somebody can have a 12-year-old. I just got the indication of a new beginning. So this new job is happening way sooner than you think. Somebody could be 31. We got the angel of release. So it looks like you're letting out the old and welcome in the new. And this is going to be happening right when you need it to happen with the angel of divine timing. Somebody could be 32, maybe 31. We got the angel of detoxification. This is letting go of toxic pattern, toxic ways, toxic people, things that just don't help you and things that don't matter. Somebody could be 22. I feel like this is where a lot of my areas are at mentally right now as well. I am still doing five for five questions for Aries. The cash app is D E E F O N D E L. The email is there, fidella gmail.com. I appreciate all my Aries is out here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. We got this could be the one. Some of you met someone recently. Some of you been in a relationship for a while, and some of you met someone recently, and then some of you is just somebody that you can't get out of your mind. It was so much passion in that connection. Some of you are wanting to reconcile. We got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So for a lot of my areas, this is letting go of that hurt and pain. And this is just letting go of those feelings that you had. And, you know, let it go. You learned your lesson. It was a learning experience for you. And now you know how to act, just moving accordingly. We got separation. Time for your partner is on the horizon. For So for those of you that are in a relationship, you could end up spending some time away from your partner. I'm getting for a lot of you, this will be work-related. We have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Okay, so especially for those of you that are single and manifesting someone right now. We got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So for those of you that are wanting to go after someone right now, um... You can explore this person, but also pay attention to the red flags. There are signs cautioning you and warning you about this person. So, you know, just stay on your toes. Some of you are holding on to an ex. We do have release your ex. So for a lot of my areas, you have, a lot of you are holding on to your ex's energy. And that could be why you can't move forward. I am seeing generosity. Somebody's wanting to show you a different side of them. Somebody's wanting to show you a side that you haven't seen. Nobody, a lot of my areas just feel like nobody's ever generous towards them. So I am seeing that come in for you. Somebody can have a 10 year old. We have children. Your love life is affected by children. This person might have kids. You might don't have kids. This could be the other way around. This could be maybe why things aren't where you want it, but I am seeing a lot of love and passion and a lot of attraction in this connection as well. So 
Don't let that be the reason. I am seeing an engagement in the future. For those of you that are currently in a relationship, you could be engaged really soon. Somebody could be popping that question. We do have reconciliation, so you could end up getting engaged to someone from the past. For those of you that just feel that this is your the one for you and you want to make this work, we do have reconciliations. So I do appreciate all my Aries. Thank you for tuning in.